Welcome back to the LA Sports Fans Choice Awards, the 12th annual Joe Grande hanging out with the actor with the big movie coming out, Michael Adam Hamilton. Thank you How for you joining doing, us man? this evening. I'm Tell us about this movie coming out. Well, it is uh, a spoof on Twilight. It's really funny. It's packed with simple toilet humor, you know, references to pop culture, references to the Twilight movies. It's, uh, I, I think it's really funny. When you do a movie like that, do yeah. you find it hard to be like serious, but yet you're cracking on something? Well, actually, the thing about a, any movie like that, and really comedy in general, is the gold is in the person, the, the blind spot of a character. Right. So the key is to not not at all think how ridiculous you are. You're saying this line that's so silly, you're doing this thing that's so silly, but you have to be, you have to think it's the end of the world, you know? And that's what makes it funny, because everyone else watching is like, this guy's an idiot, but you, you're to you but totally- But Michael Adam Hamilton is no idiot. No, I believe exactly what I'm doing. I think this is really important. I definitely think that Bella should not be with Edward. Like, it is key that you can't be like, see, this is funny, right? Because right, they, they awesome. always feel stupid, you know? Right, right, right. So. Well, it's great. You come out here. At least you found the spot. I know you went to the wrong hotel at yes, first. Yes, that was all right. We got a nice little a little tour of Rodeo right are you, before Are we you came from here. Los Angeles? I actually am from Maine. Okay. Southern Maine, yeah. So you just out here for the LA Sports Fans Choice Awards? No, or? I live here now, but okay. originally, originally from Maine. Well, it's the 12th Annual Sports Choice yes. Awards, and they're doing so much for the children, the Ch yes. United Children Foundation. They're trying to give back to the youth to let them know, get out more and work out. What was it as a kid for you that got you to stay out and work out? You look like you're in shape. Um, as a kid, for me, I lived in a neighborhood that luckily there was a ton of kids and they were always out. And that is one of the things that I think I, the United Children's, what you guys are doing, I love that because you're, you're getting kids back together and being active again. And I feel like in, in the modern culture, there's, there's, no, there's no safe place for kids. You, you don't go into an average neighborhood and be like, we're all playing ho street hockey anymore. That doesn't right. happen, and that's really sad because when I grew up, that culture was awesome. I'm sure you, like, you yes, went and played we had, in the we street. Played wiffle ball. Street to hockey, like, yeah. wiffle ball, four square, like under the street. Like, cause oh, it's so, I loved it. And we, that, that doesn't exist as much anymore. So to have an organization that's pushing for a healthy thing for kids to do in a safe environment is awesome. And I, I have two kids and I applaud you guys. The yes, I have a daughter as well and it's always good. I make her go to the gym with me, I make her ride the yes. bike with me, I make her run with me. Yeah. It's always a fun time. I just, I, I've been doing CrossFit lately and uh -huh. I swear to God, my two year old son today, uh -huh. He was doing like burpees, like straight, like lying down straight. That's what up, you gotta do. Down, you gotta make him do, like, it. do it. Do it. Do it and do one more. With a little plank. He's like, yeah, hold it, hold yes, it longer. Yes. Well, it's always great. It's a pleasure, hey, Mr. Man. Hamilton. Thank you very nice much for spending time Thanks with us. Thanks a lot. And make sure you guys check out his new movie. Plug it one more time. Breaking wind. Breaking wind. Breaking wind. Yeah. I think I'm about to break subtle. some wind after dinner. Really subtle. <laughs>